in terms of psychotherapy, there are at least two main sources of uh, outcome. One is the client, how well the client is or isn't getting better, but that's not the whole picture. And who you see as a therapist affects how well the client, on average that is, not an individual client, but how on average clients do with that particular therapist. And so we try to see what percentage of the effect that we're seeing in any client can be attributed to the client and what part can we attribute to the therapist and try to tease that out. And then by using HLM, we could compare the proportion of that effect by the therapist across different therapists. And we could see that some therapists on average, the effect is small. Some therapists on average, the effect is large. And so HLM allows us to see the differences on average, how therapists do with their clients. We have a client coming in with this severity and ends up here. And a lot of the change is attributed to the client, him or herself, but there, we also know that there are big differences across therapists. And so what part of this effect is attributable to the clients and what part is attributed to the therapist? And we try to separate that out. And by doing that, we could compare therapists um, across the database and say, this therapist on average tends to create a larger effect with their clients than these uh, therapists who tend to create smaller effects. And so by being able to parse that out, parse the effects out, we can now compare uh, therapists across our database. Yes, uh, what it tries to do is it, it's a statistical thing, but it allows for a benefit of the doubt effect at the therapist level. So for example, let's say therapist A only saw three clients and you know he or she did on average extremely well or extremely poorly, but that could be out of chance. But the more clients that the therapist sees, it averages out quite well. And so you have more confidence in the therapist's average effect. So when you've only seen three clients, it would naturally adjust your uh, effect closer to the mean of all the therapists. Because we're saying, well, you know, it seemed extremely high, but we're not really sure yet, so we'll lower it closer. If you do extremely poorly with the three, you would say, yeah, you know, this might be a fluke, so we'll adjust it back. But if you have 50 clients and you're doing extremely well, well, we have pretty good confidence that you're actually doing quite well. So we're not going to lower or adjust your uh, average closer to the mean of therapists. And same with if you do poorly with 50 clients. So as the sample size grows, your effect as a therapist will be close to just the raw effect that you see. Whereas if your sample size is small, it gets adjusted to the middle, giving you sort of like a uh, benefit of that effect.